Come, have you seen you? Regis, that's the first. That's the first gold album. I haven't got mine yet, and that's for you. You're, you're kidding me. Well, look what it says. It says, presented to Regis Philbin to commemorate the sale of more than 500,000 copies of Atlantic Records' album, The Cassette, Out of the Blue. And you're giving me this? Yes. Oh. <laughs> She was on with you first. I was on with you first. Yeah. So? Do we have a cassette about Regis around? I give her <laughs> something I should be able to give her. <laughs> Julian, run up, get somebody to go upstairs. And on my little, to the left, if you stand behind my desk, to the left is my plaque, and I want to present it to, to Debbie, okay? She'd rather have a muffin. <laughs> and, and we'll throw in a muffin, too. Yeah. Debbie, I feel, what am that's I doing here? Oh, that's oh. just a little pot. Debbie, are you sure you want to give this to me? Oh, I'm sure, and, uh, unless you know of any other Regis Philbin. No, that's very, <laughs> very sweet. That's very, very nice. And why am I getting this? Because I was on your show first. Oh, well, that's nice. That's so nice. when Only in My Dreams was just getting off the ground. And yeah. <laughs> and what a hit it became, huh? That, that was a single first, right? Mm -hmm. And then came the album. Yep. And that became part of the album. Yep. But then from the album came Shake, came uh, Shake Your Love Shake and your the, love. Um, the new single, the title track, Out of the Blue. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> We're real proud of you. Really Thank you. proud. Now, Kathy's very concerned about, you know, what your life has become like in this fast-track <laughs> movie uh, uh, music business. Well, with all these wise guys walking around. Well, my, my mom takes care of the wise guys. Good. <laughs> and, um, you know, I still go to school. So everything's everything's. You go to normal. Calhoun School, do you? Calhoun High School. But yeah. now, what are your schoolmates like? I mean, now that you're a big star. They treat me the same. I treat them the same. They treat me the same, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's terrific. That's hard to believe, Deb. It really is. Come on, it's true. Deb. It's true. It is. I mean, that's, you're very, very blessed if that's the case because at that age, especially when other kids don't even know what they're going to do with their life, mm -hmm. you already have tremendous success. And I'm sure that they struggle with a little jealousy because I'm sure they like you so much, but they're also thinking, why, Debbie, not me? Well, they, it's funny because, you know, they've seen like the work that's gone into it and everything. And, you know, sometimes they say to me, you know, wow, you're going to do this when, when we're going to this party or something? And I say, yeah. So they realize there's a certain amount of sacrifice. Yeah, yeah you don't want to go to that. You, you're missing that party. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, I'm taking piano lessons. Are you? It's a killer. It really is. I tried to give my dad piano lessons. It didn't work, really. You reach a certain age, and, you know, you can't teach an old dog <laughs> new tricks or something. Oh. The fingers just don't, they don't move as well. Yeah. I'm having mm. a heck of a time with traffic cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Now, you took piano lessons when you were four, right? Mm -hmm. Your whole life has been geared to this, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it was classical piano? Yep. Did you ever reach a point where you said, ah, forget it. It's not going to work out? No. <laughs> Just straight ahead all the time. Yeah, yeah. Now, tell us about converting the garage. You actually kept adding computerized equipment in there until yeah well what we did was we had a double garage and we took half the garage and we started with a four track studio and um it now grew to 12 <laughs> and um you know that's like i kind of keep reinvesting in in buying new keyboards and new equipment and um i demo my songs in there and do like pre-production for the album and everything mm -hmm. so you do all your demo work in there and then, yeah. you, then you go to the studio for the real thing. right terrific and now you've got a new band you put together yeah all long island kids yep what's the name of yep. the band well, see, we kind of have a joke name right now. Right now, they're, just, they're the Debbie Gibson band, but um, you see, the drummer, he, he kind of gets really sarcastic sometimes, so we, we call them the victims of sarcasm. Oh, good. Debbie Gibson is like the victim of yeah. sarcasm? Do you like that? We'll, we'll feel this out. <laughs> well, we got to get a better name than the victims of sarcasm. I thought we were the victims of sarcasm. I don't know if they can have our name. I got a good name for you. What? How about this? Debbie Gibson and the Outrageous Band? Uh. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Trying to become a part of the act somehow. Well, Debbie, we'll thank you. It. This we'll is very, it. very sweet. <laughs> now, we went to we'll great expense to get... I'll put it right here, Ben. Okay. Thanks. Um, uh, you know, great expense for we have a little... Um, what is this? Lex it's it's a Fender Rose. Fender Rose. Yeah. Fender Rose. Mm -hmm. Want to play a little something for us? Can you play sure. uh, one of the songs? Sure. Just anything, you know? Just this anything. is going to be your new one, your new single? You know, i okay, got to get a hat like single? that. Before I go to Le Club Bonnet, I've got to get a hat like There's that. Every young person in our audience has Look, a hat like there, that. I thought it was belong to the Amish. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to play for us? All right, let's see. Um, do you want me to play the new single, sure. Out of the Blue? Yeah. Okay. Or, or, I have another idea. I have a brand new song that's really never been heard before. It won't be on, it'll be on like the next album. Want to hear you what, why don't you play the, uh, the, 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 the new one now, and then the, the old one now, and then the new one as we go out, okay? Oh, right, sure, that. sure.
to give us a flack, but we're gonna give you an outrageous <laughs> pay break. He's outrageous. Debbie, I want you to play this at home. I will. I want you to play it for the victims of sarcasm. <laughs> Light a candle when you play it. Light a candle please. when you play it. This could be a big hit. I know that you've sold 500,000. We have sold 67 and still climbing. All right. I'm yes. still climbing. This is for you. All right, now, now you're going to play us something new that you've just written and uh, mm -hmm. working on right now? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's get to the vocal cords. Give question us a little here. background on this. How long did it take you to write it? Was one of these quickies or? Yeah, it was it's pretty quick. Um, it was, I write a song usually in about 15 minutes or so. Uh-huh. And, this... you and your friends aren't jealous of you, please. <laughs> do you get inspiration? Uh, where did the inspiration come for this song? Goodness, you know, I don't even remember. You just sit down and stuff. I just... Yeah, I, I sit down and play around a little. This is a, this is a ballad and it's called Lost in Your Eyes. Okay, okay. Lost in Your Eyes. Mm -hmm. I get That'll be the next album. In yeah. the meantime, this one's going out of sight, huh? Yeah. That's terrific. It's almost platinum now. It's almost platinum mm -hmm. right now. Platinum yeah. what? Takes uh, a million. A million. A million to it. Yeah. Debbie, we're all proud of you here in New York. Thank you. You're really going to be a giant star in this Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for uh, this right You're now. welcome. It'll be hanging in my house by tonight, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Debbie, very, very much. Good luck to you.